chain. This polyurethane balls used for this machine. Each ball can be used for 5000 times. Mr. Mohib Ali, the collector, customs and central excise, also one of the distinguished guests on that occasion, is trying the bowling machine. The teams were introduced to the chief guest. Shashiki Rao introducing his Hyderabad Bottlings cricket team. Also, print media, Mr. Sampat is the captain of the print media, introducing his colleagues to Mr. Sham Mohan, the chairman and managing director of NMDC, the chief guest of that final day's function. The group photograph with the winners. First run up, runners up trophy given to Mr. Sampat by the chief guest, and winners of trophy by chief guest to Mr. Sheshigi Rao and the team. Man of the match prize to Mr. Baska of uh, Hyderabad Bottlings. And man of the series to Mr. Leo Justin of uh, Print Media, who showed an outstanding performance throughout the tournament. Mr. K.K. Rao, former President, Hyderabad Cricket Association, Mr. L. Venkatram Reddy, Secretary, Olympic Association, Mr. T.R. Prabhu, Division Manager, Syndicate Bank, deserving children and coaches for the presentations from the Chief Guest. Mr. Chittananjan, giving the memento to Chief Guest. Of the second inter-corporate cricket tournament, being held by the Sports Coaching Foundation. The enthusiasm and the spirit of enthusiasm with which the children greeted the coaches really is great and makes us feel much, much younger and uh, reminds us of our childhood days. I am thankful to the organizers for giving me this privilege and pleasure of being in your midst today. While they have said intercorporate cricket for non-professionals, technically differentiating the amateur players from those who are playing professional cricket in the A-League in the state, they have chosen a non-cricket player like me to be the chief guest this evening. But 
I am along with most of the people present here. I am one of the uh, cricket lovers and sports lovers and uh, indeed it has been a very pleasant evening. I came a little earlier than some of my colleagues and watched the last portion of the final game being played today. So when I came in, the, the first team had scored, uh, had where Bartling had scored 76 runs and uh, the print media were 58 for, 57 for 8 or so and with two hours to go, that uh, virtually reminding us of the suspense that gripped us uh, less than 24 hours ago when the openers of the Pakistan team were uh, hitting in a smash boxing manner. So we thought we'll have a lot of suspense in the final two hours, but in uh, any case, uh, later Hyderabad battling repeated their last year's triumph and uh, have won the tournament. I am very happy to hear that the Sports Coaching Foundation have organized uh, some special facilities. I was taken around to see the AstroTurf cricket uh, imported and the special bowling machine which uh, bowls up to 136, uh, 185 kilometers per hour speed. And uh, some of us were utilizing the, the machine to show balls of different type of bowling and the winning cricket captain, Mr. J.S. Rao, had come and uh, his luck showed there that he bowled a ball which uh, bowled, a bat I mean, sort of, uh, the batsman was clean bowled. Uh, I'm told that the concerned gentleman, Mr. Srinivas, is a Ranji Trophy player also. So it's very good they have this facility of AstroTurf and uh, this facility of the bowling machine to bowl at such great speed. Uh, I'm told the West Indies team also, uh, recently when they were here for the match, prior to the match they, bow, they practiced here. That uh, is a great credit to the sports uh, coaching foundation here that their facility was utilized for the World Cup team. Well, well, I am not a cricket player myself. As I said, I am a sports lover and cricket lover. And I have been keeping myself associated with a number of cultural organizations and sports organizations, including organizations which contribute to the upliftment of youngsters, and particularly the underprivileged young friends. Therefore, when Mr. Sai Baba, the secretary of the coaching, sports coaching foundation Hyderabad approached me, requesting an MDC, to be the sponsor for the various prizes to be distributed during this tournament. We are trying to have a sufficient corpus fund to meet our reckoning expenditure to make break even. I am happy to announce this sports organization is approved by the Government of India under 100% income tax exemption scheme to the donors to this organization. <laughs> Thank you.